Hello YouTube, my name is Nick, and today I'll be going over how to get an open NAT type on Xbox Live, but this should also work for PlayStation Network and Steam. This is going to be a very thorough guide, and you won't likely have to watch the whole thing. Um, there are three ways to get an open NAT type. Uh, the easiest is universal plug and play, um, then a DMZ, and finally port forwarding. I will also be going over port triggering, which will allow you to get an open NAT type on multiple consoles. Next you need to find your default gateway so you can log into your router. If you already know how to log into your router, you may skip this step. Um, click the screen now to move on to the next step. To find your default gateway, you want to go to start, um, type in CMD and click enter and it will open up a command prompt. If you're on Windows XP, you can go to run um, and type in CMD and it will also open up command prompt. Um, once you're in command prompt, you want to type in ipconfig and click enter, and all this will pop up. Scroll up to the top, um, and where it says default gateway, mine says 192.168.1.1, um, that is your default gateway, and you, you want to enter that into your web browser. So go to your browser and type in that number, and it will bring up your router. Your router may ask for a password, and uh, this will differ depending on the type of router you have. So what you need to do is look at your router, um, find the model of it and Google the default password um, and log in and enter that into log into your router. The easiest way to get an open NAT type is to use universal plug and play. Um, to do this you want to look for a tab that says NAT, um, go to universal plug and play and make sure that it is enabled. Um, this will be in a different spot depending on your router. I have two routers so um, I'll show you where it is in my other router. I'm going to log into that and it's actually not under the NAT tab, it's under the system settings. Um, if you're having trouble finding where the universal plug and play is, um, you can always Google your router and universal plug and play, and there'll probably be some guide showing you where it is for your specific router. If you are unable to find a universal plug and play setting, please click the screen now. Once you have universal plug and play enabled, go to your Xbox, um, go to system settings, network settings, um, wired or wireless depending on what you have. Configure network and make sure that both of these are set to automatic and it will automatically connect to the right address um, with opened ports. You should now have an open NAT type on Xbox Live. If you don't have the option to use universal plug and play, you can set up a DMZ or demilitarized zone which will open all ports to your Xbox. In my main router, DMZ is under the firewall tab. In the router that my Xbox is connected to, the DMZ is under the NAT tab. Um, so I go to NAT, click DMZ. I want to enable the DMZ, and um, the DMZ host IP address is the static IP that you will set your Xbox to. So it can be whatever you want. Um, you just have to remember this um, so that you can enter it into your Xbox. Um, so I'm going to use 150 and uh, click Save Settings there. If you can't find a DMZ setting on your router, please click the screen now. Once you have your DMZ set, go back to your Xbox system settings, network settings, wired or wireless depending on what you have, um, configure network, and you want to change this to manual. Um, your IP address will be what you entered in um, for your DMZ host IP address. So I entered in 150, so I use 150. Subnet mask and default gateway were back what you found um, in IP config. You may leave the DNS settings on automatic. If you have followed these steps correctly, your NAT type should now be open. If your router does not have settings for DMZ or universal plug and play, then your only other option as far as I know is to use port forwarding. You can find detailed instructions on your specific router um, on this website here. Um, if your router is not there, then you're going to have to look around to try and find the port forwarding section on your router. However, if your router is on the list, you can click it and there should be fairly detailed instructions for your specific router on how to forward your ports. I'm going to show you guys how to forward the ports for my router. Um, there are four ports that need to be opened for Xbox Live, so I add uh, four boxes here. And you can name them whatever you want. I just named mine Xbox Live 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, you want to set the IP address to, um, doesn't really matter what the last digit is, um, I do 192.168.1.1, um, or 
150. Uh, the one there is dependent on how you logged in. If you logged in at 192.168.0.1, then that one is a zero. Um, anyways, the protocol you can leave as TCP and UDP or both. It doesn't matter. Um, 53 to 53, 80 to 80, 88 to 88, and 3074 to 3074. Um, those are the four ports you need open for Xbox Live. I'm going to enable them all and then click apply settings. And uh, that will open the four ports for Xbox Live. These are the ports that need to be forwarded for Steam and PSN. So you can pause the video now and enter these in um, in the same manner as I entered in the Xbox Live ports. Once you have your ports forwarded, um, you have to go into your Xbox network settings um, whatever network you're using, um, configure network, and you're trying to set a manual IP. Um, your IP will be whatever the IP address you forwarded the ports to. I forwarded them to 150, so I'm going to set it to 150. Subnet mask and gateway you can find in IP config, and you may leave the DNS settings on automatic. If you have done everything correctly, you should now have an open NAT type. Next, I'm going to show you how to get an open NAT type on multiple consoles. Now, this isn't an issue that many people have because not many people have multiple consoles and try and play on them at the same time. But some people do, so I'm going to show you how to get an open NAT on both of them. To do this, you must use port triggering as well as universal plug and play. First, go in and disable your DMZs if you have any set up. Um, you go to port forwarding and you don't want to have the ports forwarded, this can mess things up. And you want to make sure that universal plug and play is enabled. Then you want to find your MTU setting. Mine is under the setup, basic setup tab, and you make sure that this is set to auto. Next you want to go to the port triggering tab, enter in these four ports for Xbox Live, um, start 53 and 53, start 53 and 53 protocol, both. Um, essentially, you're just triggering the four ports that you would forward for Xbox Live, and this will allow any console that connects to Universal Plug and Play to have an open NAT. These are the ranges that you need to trigger for Steam and PSN, so you can pause the video and enter these in. Once you have triggered your ports, go back to your Xbox, System Settings, Network Settings, Wired or Wireless, depending on what you're using, um, and you're going to configure your network, and all you have to do is change it to Automatic, since you're using Universal Plug and Play. Um, now, if you text, test your connection, um, you should get no problems and have an open NAT type. This will work on multiple consoles, so you could have four or five Xboxes running off the same router, and all of them would have an open NAT type. If you are having problems setting up the um, port triggering, I'm going to leave a link here to the video where I learned how to trigger ports, and uh, some of that may go over different stuff than I went over, and it might help you solve your problem. So um, if you're having any issues, um, click the screen now, and you can go to that video there. I hope you guys enjoyed this and were able to open your ports and get an open that type and can now play games with a better connection. See you guys all later.